Hello everybody, this is Dino GTO and this is the WZ-132, the fucking demon of Tyriot. This tank is probably one of the best Tyriots in the game. It is unbelievably powerful. Like, like when I when I say this, like when I whenever I say this tank is amazing, I mean like I mean this tank is properly amazing. Like this tank. It just fucking dominates everything. Like, this is a VK3002D. I know how good that tank is. I know it can have, like, a 5.5... Or, no, wait, like, 5.7 second reload or something like that there. My tank has, like, a 6.7 second reload, but I do 30 extra alpha per shot, and I, um... And I have about seven, or 50 more pen. Or, no, no, about, uh, about 45 more pen or something like that. So, yeah. Yeah, I made that tier 7 medium look pretty shitty. Like, and that's the thing. Honestly... Lower tier medium, like one tier lower mediums, are honestly pretty good at killing t like the higher, one tier higher light tanks. It's weird. Like the Panther 38, I was against a T54 lightweight and I just destroyed it. And here's the surprise Cromwell. Uh, Cromwell is the it, like if you're a tier six light tank, rest in peace. Is whenever you're fighting a Cromwell because like it is just like the Cromwell is so good that you basically cannot compete with a Cromwell whenever you're uh, in a tier six light tank. But in a tier eight light tank, you can just Dominate Cromwell like that. So he, he fired one shot at me and it bunched. Oh, well, he fired one shot to hit me and it bunched. So yeah, and that's also something I've noticed. The, like the rounding or like the shape of the armor on this thing, it seems to bunch shots semi reliably. It's really weird. And yeah, then I noticed that Tiger P is behind me and I'm just like, oh shit, I'm spotted. Is he going to eat? Does he even notice I'm here? No, he doesn't. Hmm. So he didn't even fire a shot at me. He mustn't have even noticed that. Okay, and I fired that shot and I totally forgot that shot hit. <laughs> but yeah. This tank is incredibly good. Like, I don't think people realize just how good this thing is yet, but it is unbelievable. And let's just say, whenever you're getting 1200 XP games and they're second class masteries, you know a tank is good. Like, that that is just like how good this tank is right now. So, let's see. So, uh, I fired a couple shots at the M41, I'm just like, I don't want to trade now shot to the M41, because I feel like that's not really worth it, but then somebody on my teammate goes, or somebody on my team goes and just kills the M41, which is really handy, and somebody kills 1375 as well, which is also really handy, which means there's nobody behind me now, and I can, I'm pretty much free to do whatever the hell I like. So, I look over here just to see what is around, and I move up towards these bushes, this is a really small tank, so I'm able to just kind of sneak up here without getting spotted. I spot the Hellcat, and I immediately decide, hmm, I could reload HE round and potentially two-shot him. So I reload HE round. It takes about 6.7 seconds to do a reload on this gun. Fire HE round, and it does pretty much the exact, uh, the exact alpha of an AP round. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's just my luck. But I did three critical module damages, so I don't know what, I can't even remember what those were. But yeah, eh, it doesn't really matter too much. He still died, and I got all the spotting for... Uh, the people who shot the Hellcat and the people who shot the SU-100, so that worked out really well. So 1900 spotting, 2300 damage so far. Uh, STR V74 over there. And whenever I notice my team has basically got that guy handled, I'm just like, I can just go for this Tiger, tiger P and kill him off here now. So I'm just going to move towards him. And this is just how, you, like, heavy tanks versus light tanks. Um, the heavy tanks can do nothing. Because if it's a Japanese heavy tank, you're just so small that, you, that they can't even shoot you for the most part, unless you're American or German. Um, this is why I love the Chinese so much. They're so small and they're so quick, they're just able to dominate people. They really are just so good at just getting close range and just Soviet side hug people. And you're so quick and you're so like good at accelerating back and forward. You're able to just kind of just dodge shots consistently, even at point blank range. It's uh, like... The Soviet side hook in, in these tanks is so good. And the Scorpion G fire shot at me, I fire shot back at him, only do critical damage. And here's a surprise Hellcat. This surprised the fuck out of me in this game. Like, I was really just confused. And, yeah. Uh, tier 6 tank destroyer versus tier 8 light tank. Not really much of a competition. I could have probably rammed this guy. But I'd say not to. I'd say it wasn't really worth doing because I didn't want to lose any more health. And if I hit him too hard, I probably could have killed myself. So right now, I'm on 3,700 damage and 2,700 spotting. And if you look right here, seven, okay, so total damage caused and damage caused by your allies upon your spotting or destroying a track of a nine vehicle must be at least 7,000. 
So if you add 2700 to 3700, I'm about 600 off the 7000 mark. So I, I got really excited at this point. I was like, oh, I could do it. I could do it. I could finally do it. I've had this mission for months. And uh, I was like really, really, really excited about doing this here potentially. And I get really lucky there. Like the luck for that to happen was unbelievable. I fire shot in him. I'm on 4000 damage. And now, like, that guy pretty much just has his gun pointed at me the entire time from this point on. Because I'm a one-shot kill and he didn't kill me. So, he just points his gun at me and I don't want to risk getting killed by him at this point. Just in case. I, I, I couldn't remember if I fired any blind shots at all uh, during this game that potentially got a hit. Like, I think I fired, like, one blind shot at, like, where the M41 roughly was. And I wasn't sure if I did any damage to him or not. So, I was like... I don't want to risk dying just in case I do get it, because you need to survive the battle as a secondary condition. And I was just like, uh, I really hope I did like one shot of damage or something blind. And and uh, I, I I can't I can't risk taking a hit. I can't can't. I'm look. I'm a hundred and eighty. I'm about a hundred and fifty damage off getting the mission done. I'm so close. And uh, I I I wait too long to come around the corner, and that's that's that. Um, so let's see. Uh, I'm going to move on to the post game stats in a second, but let's see. Uh, I'm just going to go over like the things I love about this tank. One, it is unbelievably quick. It accelerates like nothing normal, and its top speed is really, really good, and it maneuvers like no other tank that I can that I've ever played. Um, it's just so good at close range, and it's really, really low profile and really, really quick. And I have gotten about. But 90, 80 or 90,000 XP on this thing faster than I have ever gotten 80 or 90,000 XP on a tank, ever. Like, this tank, I enjoy playing this tank so much. Like, I can't think of another tier yet that I enjoy playing as much as this thing. Because this thing here is, an is a, a genuine a adrenaline rush to play. If you're playing this thing really, really passively, you're not playing the tank to its strengths. This tank is really, really good at being the aggressive light tank that just pushes forward. Deals its own damage while spotting for your allies so that, like, there are things I've done in this tank where I have rushed into a situation where against three enemy tanks. Use, use the biggest one as cover against the other two and then uh, just circled the biggest one while I was, um, while I was dodging shots from the others. I, I had that situation happen a couple of times in this tank and there's no other tank I've ever gotten away with that in, but this one I've gotten away with it every time except one. And that is awesome. Like, I love this tank. I really, really do. Like, this thing here, in comparison to, like, my opinions of the 110, they're, they're like, they're, like, fair and nice. I hate the 110, but I love this thing more than, I, I can't think of enough here yet. I, I love as much, uh, like, that I, have as, that I have had as much fun playing in this game. This tank if you have it unlocked and you haven't played it in 9.18, I think this is probably one of the best tier rates in the game. Not quite IS3 level, because nothing's IS3 level. But this thing is on the scale of like the Tiger 2, you know. Like in the Tiger 2, I, I rate as just being just on the tier lower than the than the IS3. Because, well, IS3 and Defender are number one. Are in the number one. This thing here is like number 1.5. So, it's just... It's just a little bit down on the step ladder from the IS-3, and that's a that's a huge compliment. Like that's like the IS-3 is pretty much the ultimate tier eight. Like, um, and just to give you some pers perspective, I would say things like the Panther II are probably like third. Uh, it's not the worst by any stretch of the imagination, but can, like, uh, like if you were to give them like a rating from one to five, with one being the best and five being the worst, things like the one ten Carnarvon and all would be number five. Uh, the IS-3 Defender would be number one. This thing here would be like 1.5. Like that's just how that's how good I think this thing is. Then I would also get things like the Tiger 2 or 1.5 as well, just because I've had so much fun playing them. Like honestly, if you can get this tank and you love fast tanks and you have the FPS to handle this kind of thing, you should play this tank. Like this tank will be a joy to play. I'm almost guaranteed this will be worth getting for you because this tank is so good. And honestly, I'm worried about going on to the WZ 132A because I've never sat on this tank. Like, the amount I've enjoyed playing this tank, I'm going to get by 1516 and I'm going to train up a crew for this tank. That's how much I like it. Like, I only had one light tank crew for the Chinese for a long time. I'm getting another one because I like this tank that much. So, yeah. Um, I honestly think, like, 
uh, the, this is one of the few tanks I've ever actually played that I've just been like, like if you have not played this tank, you should probably play this tank. Uh, bear in mind, if you don't have a good FPS computer, you probably won't be able to make the most of this kind of tank. That's why, um, whenever I was playing on like a 12 FPS laptop, I would play heavies and just heavies because uh, heavy tanks are the only tanks I could really play consistently. I couldn't ever play tanks like Cromwell to their full extent. That's why my like as far as I remember, my stats in the Cromwell are terrible. Um, but I still enjoy playing it because I love seeing 64. I, I love seeing like doing the speed 64 kilometers an hour on the Cromwell. But yeah, this tank is so good. But yeah, I've I've talked enough about that. There, let's go on to the post game stats. Okay, so we are back with the results. As you can see, this was worth an ace tanker, which was actually really difficult to get. You don't know how difficult that was to get in 9.18, and this was basically a perfect storm of like circumstances. Like, um, it was a really really good game to play. Um, I mean, like, and you know, if you're wondering why I have a premium account active, I don't usually use premium account. I very rarely do. The only reason why that's active right there is because you get a free day premium account if you play during the during this weekend, uh, at least on the EU server. That's like times five weekend, and like there's a big discount in tier nine and ten uh, or tier eight, nine, ten vehicles. And I'm actually working on finishing the grind on this tank to unlock the uh, WZ one three two so I can buy it on or so I can buy it uh, sometime soon because uh, I'm looking to. Get it unlocked in like 7,000 or something XP away from unlocking the wz 132 yeah. I've grinded like 90,000 XP on this thing within, within a couple of weeks. But yeah, top of the team, nearly 4,000 damage, 1,600 base XP. Um, that was a 5 minute, 34 second game. And let's see, uh, by 2,900 assistance damage. So I think it was about, I was like 150 or something damage off getting the... Uh, of getting the uh, light tank mission 15 finished, so I, I was a wee bit gutted by that there, but I'm so happy with that game that I don't really care that much. So yeah, um, let me know. Have you played the? Oh wait, I should also mention high caliber and sky metal. Let me know. Have you played many of the um, higher tier like updated light tanks? Because right now I think the Chinese might be the best light tanks in the game. Like the Americans look like it could be fun. But I also feel like they could be a kind of annoying to play because the light tanks in the American tree, people don't realize it, but the light tanks in the American tree are massive. Um, I think, like, like I think it's the Americans and the Germans are both massive, just tinfoil boxes. Or well, tin, tinfoil boxes. Uh, the the massive uh, paper bags, like um, the T forty nine, the Sheridan are massive, and same with the M forty ones and all. Um, the Panzerwagen. Uh, what the hell is it called? I think it might just be called Panzerwagen. That, that thing's that thing's massive. The tier nine, the RU two five one is pretty wide and uh pretty long as well. The tier eight's pretty big. The tier seven's pretty big. Um, but yeah, the Chinese, um, the Chinese and the Russians, um, have probably the most low profile vehicles. But even the Russians have very wide vehicles. Like uh, the T LTKTB as an example is pretty tall. The T fifty four lightweight is very wide, and the T one hundred is very long. The the uh, French are probably the closest in terms of size to the Chinese, but the Chinese are just so compact in general. That I think they're probably still uh, the best in terms of like trying to avoid getting hit, and they're so maneuverable as well. They're so good just avoiding shots. But yeah, I think you can probably tell that I like this tank. <laughs> so yeah, um, let me know have you have you played many of the higher tier light tanks and. Um, what are your what are your opinions on them since they got changed in part nine point eighteen? So I'd be curious to hear uh, other people's thoughts on them. So yeah, uh, let me know in the comments section. Uh, okay, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I actually, yeah, uh, I I think that's pretty much everything I'd say. So yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.